This video will show you how to map a six-speed shifter in F355 Challenge in Demo. There's a lot of controls, so it's a little confusing. I'll go through them here. First thing you want to do, open Demo, go to Config, go down to Controls, and in the Arcade section, click on Joy 1. Most of this, this is pretty self-explanatory. Analog 1 left is going to be your steering wheel left. Analog 1 right is right in the steering wheel. Uh, analog 1 up is your gas, analog 1 down is your brake. So those are pretty standard controls. You can map your coin and start button. Obviously you need those. Uh, you can map the, f the first four push buttons. Uh, norm the buttons I use are over here, these four red buttons. Normally you might control different viewpoints, something like cruising. Uh, and this it turns on and off uh, anti-lock brake and brake assistance and things like that. So all those are, are mapped in the game. If you're playing with the full manual transmission, I don't even know if those things are available, but you can just map those. So if you're playing an automatic, that's all you have to do. It's a, it's a standard racing game. If you want to use the paddle shifters, go to the digital section at the top, and the left digital button is actually your left paddle to downshift. And then the right digital button is your right paddle to upshift. So if you're playing on the intermediate setting, uh, which is the paddle shifters without a clutch, you're done. If you want to play in manual, we have the yeah, full manual, I should say, we have to do a few more things. Obviously, we need to map the clutch pedal. That's actually analog two down. So that's where you want to map your clutch pedal. Now, the shifter you would think is just a bunch of buttons over here, but it's actually not. And this is where it gets a little bit confusing. So when I'm done mapping all my player one controls, I'm going to press OK. I'm actually going to go to Joy 2 in Arcade. The shifter actually functions with the D-pad in player two's controls, which sounds a bit strange because there's only four directions, up, down, left, and right, even though we have six positions. And I'm not even going to map the uh, controller itself to the program. I'm actually going to map my keyboard up, down, left, and right to up, down, left, and right, on the d-pad which sounds a bit strange now but in the next step I'm going to show you why that's the case. Now the reason why we didn't map the shifter itself in demo is because it requires you for four of the six gears to be holding two directions on the d-pad at once or two directions on our arrow keys like we mapped. So I couldn't I can't just map you know this as gear one because it's not going to work. So we need a program like XPadder to help us with that. There might be a few other programs. This is the one I use and recommend. I'm on Windows 10. I'm on the upgrade. I did have to get a Windows 10 specific version, but it works great. Can't say enough about this program. So I'm going to open XPadder. Um, click on New over here. Make a new profile. Um, all I care about are the buttons. So I'm going to click on Buttons, and then I just want to hit each of the gears, and you'll see them kind of pop up there, and then we can map things to them. So I got all six showing up, so I'm good there. I'll X out of this pink screen, and we're back here. So you see them there, so this is gear one. Gear one, of course, is left and up. So I want to map it to left. You see it just says left. I'm going to click on it again. This time I'm going to go to advanced. And this box pops up. You'll see the left that I map it. There's a second thing. It says click to select slot 2. So I want to select slot 2, press OK, and then I want to map it to up. And if you notice, it's gear 1 is now mapped to left and up as we want. So I'm just going to go ahead and do, do the same for the rest of the gear. So gear 2 is going to be left, advanced, and then down. So left up, left and down. Gears 3 and 4 are easy because you don't have to do the advanced. Uh, gear 3 is just up, and then gear 4 is down. And then, of course, gear 5 is then going to be right, advanced, and up. Finally, gear 6 would be right, advanced, and down. So you can see four, all the gears in the corners are mapped to two inputs instead of one. So let's go back into Demo and start it up. So now that we've mapped everything, let's go ahead and start up Demo and then load up F355 Challenge. Normally when I start a game, I'll get an error like this. I'm actually going to get that error four times here, so if you do get this, make sure you click all four. You might have to go back here, 
there might, there might be uh, one or two hiding on you. And you'll notice that there's actually f uh, four windows, and that's why I got four separate errors. Now, there's three of them that are green, but there's this one here that nothing is on. I'm going to move this one down here. Now, there's a menu here. I'm just going to press F3, and the see kind of went away. It just gives us a little more playing area in each window. So let's go ahead and do that for all four of the windows. F3, F3, and F3. So let's figure out which one is which. So this one here is obviously the center because it's got the warning. So we're going to put it somewhere in the middle like this. And then we just got to wait for uh, the next screen to see. Okay, so it looks like this one is the right. And then this one is the left. So I'll just roughly uh, put them like that. There really should be a little bit of space in between them. And the best case scenario is to have the outside ones actually tilted a little bit. It looks a little weird, but this is what we're going to do for now. So I'm going to go ahead and press my coin button, and nothing happens. That's because, remember that fourth window down here? We have to have that one highlighted. So I'm going to click on it, and notice the text turns black instead of gray. Now when I press my coin button, it works fine. So I'm going to go ahead and start a game. Pick a course. So in automatic, you can see all those assist functions I was mentioning before, those four buttons. Intermediate uses the paddle shifters, and of course you want to use the clutch and the six-speed shifter. We're going to do simulator. They'll give you a little warning because it's so hard to play this way. Uh, go to proceed, and we'll go to race. Just make sure everything's working correctly. Go through all six gears up to four now. Five and six, and the clutch is working as well. However, technically, you don't need the clutch. I'll show you right here. So, I'm not touching the clutch, I'm just going to stick in it first and kind of accelerate from here. And watch what happens every time I shift, though. See, so he kind of struggles for a bit. I guess that's your penalty for not using it correctly. But you can play without it, definitely. Anyway, that's it. So that's how to map your controls in a F355 challenge in DMOL.